today I'm going to show you how to make crepes. It's an amazing family recipe. To make perfect crepes, it's all about techniques and using the right ingredients. And today I'm going to show you how to do it right. And just watch me. And it's again, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. And let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started. Uh, whenever I made crepes before, I always measured by eye. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, tell you exactly how much I used in the end. And uh, I just want to remind you that the written recipe, it's always a link in the description box under the video. Okay, let's get started. So, what we are going to do, so this is flour. We are going to use, uh, let's start with four cups of flour, and then I will tell you we need more or less. So, we are going to use so four cups. Sugar, okay, two tablespoons of sugar goes in. Um, a little bit of salt, I would say a half of the teaspoon of salt, all right? So I'm going to mix all this, sugar, flour, and uh, salt. Now I'm going to use four eggs. I'm going to put inside the flour mixture one i'm going to make lots of crabs guys because my family loves it it's amazing recipe but it's also all about uh, techniques and skills and i'm going to teach you so three and the one more four okay so four eggs so what we are going to do now, we are going to mix it, okay? Flour, eggs. And we have to mix really, really well. I want to show you how we're going to do it. Guys, come and look. So just so now, we are introducing milk. As I said, I'm going to tell you exactly like how much I used milk in the end. So what I do slowly, I'm just put milk there and a little bit, little by little. So we need like, like kind of like the mixture has to be thick, right? So see, and you're adding a little bit more. So you slowly, as I said, you're mixing, you're adding milk, little by little, okay? So now, when you see at that point, when you are at like this point, see like it's thick. So what I'm doing, and then we will add more milk. I'm going, we can add a little bit more. And I'm going to use blender now, okay? Make it nice and smooth, and then I will add more milk. Guys, now I'm using blender just to make it nice and smooth. Okay? So, guys, as I said, I'm going to give you the proper measurements how much I use everything milk, um, flour, sugar in the end, okay? Because I'm adjusting. And um, so, we're going to use olive oil. We will start with one, uh, one third cup of olive oil goes inside and I add one more egg so it's total five now so okay so we're going to put one third cup of olive oil inside okay and I'm going to mix it and as I said I'm going to, to tell you if we need more or less so let's just mix everything and I will show you how it's supposed to look like okay guys come I want you to show I want to show you how it's like looks like See, it's um, how liquid it is. Like, look, it's um, it's not too liquidy, but it's like this. Look, see, it's kind of like that. Okay, so let's.
let's go to the stove and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Come to the a stove and I want to show you how we're supposed to do it. See, this is the pan. So you take the pan. As I said, we talked before what kind of pan you're using. On the high heat, and you have to heat up your pan. I would say it will take sometimes a few minutes, two to three minutes. So how do you check if it's uh, if it's good? So see the water. See? Do you hear that sound, guys? See the, like you do like this. Do you hear that sound? Okay. So that means your your pan is ready. Okay. So now what you do now? This is your olive oil, okay? So you dump a little bit of paper towel, whatever. So, and you do like this, okay guys? So your pan is already hot. So you do like this. Now, watch me, very important. So your pan is hot, okay? So you take this, this is our mixture. I will tell you exactly what I used. Um, you take like this, see, like full. Mix before, okay? So you take like a full of it, and you do, you lift it up, okay? Now watch me. So you start like this, okay? And you move all the way like this. So now you see there is a hole, so you add a little bit more, and you do like this, okay? All the way around, and you move. As soon as you did this, put it back, okay? Now take your spatula, and what you do right away, you do like this, move around, okay, and then what you do, you pick it up, you pick it up like this, and you drop it, okay, now watch, very important, so you wait, so you're not ready yet, so just wait for a few minutes. So I want to, now I want to go over what, how much I used. So I used four cups of flour, okay? Two tablespoons of sugar and a half teaspoon of um, salt, six cups of milk and half cup of uh, olive oil and five eggs. Okay guys, so now look what we are doing. Perfect, beautiful. And what I'm doing now, so this is my butter, okay? So I take the butter and I do like this, okay? Like this and put it back. So let's go to next. I want to show you again, so for you to practice. So you mix again, you mix like this. So you take like full, see like this, full of it. Lift it up, okay guys? And from start from one corner and do it slowly all over. See, there is not enough, so you do like in the end, you do like this and roll and mix it like this all over. Put it back, okay? As soon as you put it back on the heat, and I want to remind you, it's on the high, see? Like um, not medium high, all the way on the high. You take the spatula again as soon as you put it back. You start from the corners and you do all over around. Don't be afraid to damage your um, and it's fine. And so what you do, see, you lift it up right away and flip it, okay? And wait for a few minutes. So, it's ready. Now, I want to give you, see, guys, so beautiful. I want to give you a tip. So in case, if you see something that's too thick and it doesn't come out, okay, let's do one more time, techniques, how to use it. So this is full, it's hot, right? So you start from the corner and you do all over. Look, fast, you hold it with one hand. And then you add here a little bit and move around, right? Put it back. Now, if you feel like they don't come up, like you can lift them up, do you know what you do? Uh, it's a tip for you guys. Add a little bit more olive oil to your mixture, mix it. If you feel it's too thick, you need, you can add a little bit more of milk. But you know what usually works? If, if you can't pick them up, see, if you can't pick them up, put a little bit more olive oil, just uh, one more tablespoon of olive oil, or two, and it will work really well. Hey guys, ta-da, it's ready. Look how many we did. 
that's how my name came out. So I want to go through the ingredients again for you to understand how much did we use. So we used four cups. So we used four cups of flour, okay? Six cups of milk, two tablespoons of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, five eggs, and half cup of olive oil. All this goes inside, we mix and with the blender, okay? And um, the rest, the rest you just watch the video. So now I want you to come over here and I want to show you how we're going to decorate for you in case you, you, your guests come over and you want to decorate, you want to serve your crabs. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Okay. Hey guys, so first we can start doing on the plate. So you take the plate, big plate, this is our crab. So what we do, we can do this way. I'm going to show on one, just, the, uh, this is Nutella. Uh, um, I use Nutella, so you can use any hazelnut um, spread, okay? Any chocolate spread, so you do. So you can just put a little bit inside, right? Like a little bit of chocolate, depends how much you like, but just a little bit, okay? So what you do, you fold it. Just you put a little bit in the middle and you fold it and kind of like spread like this, you fold it. So this is one, okay? So you do like this and you can do the same way. I'm not going to put um, hazelnut spread right now, just uh, I want to show you. So you put inside and you do this way, okay? And the same way. You put like this and you put inside, okay? So guys, now how to make it pretty? Okay, I want to show you. So you take your raspberries and you put inside, okay? That's uh, if you want to surprise somebody and the friends comes over. So you put inside. Okay. Look how pretty, guys. So beautiful. So you can do like this. Okay, and the same way, you just put something inside. Right, now, what you do now, look how beautiful. So you can take, um, now you can take um, blueberry. You can just blueberry, raspberry, and um, just any, I want to show you. So blueberry, you put aside like this, right? Okay, and here is the same way you put aside like different fruits, raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, put here is inside like that, okay, and um, that's your mint, okay, you can just take the mint and you can put inside like this. Like that. And what you do on the top, and then I will show another a way how we do it. So you take your um, icing sugar and you just do like this. Just a little bit like that. This is one way. Look how beautiful, guys. That's absolutely gorgeous. Like this. Look at them. Or like that. That's your mint. Okay? So this is one way. Okay? Done. Look how beautiful. So now we're going to decorate. You can put your crabs on the board. It's done. I want you to see how beautiful it is, how we decorate it. So as I said, if someone comes over, that's how you put So you put ice and sugar on the top and you can put um, Nutella or any hazelnut spread inside. It's absolutely delicious. And now I'm going to try. And I want you to see how thin they are, how beautiful. Like, look, I want to show you, this is mine. So I want you to see, see how thin they are. So it's so delicious. I like to eat mine with the hazelnut spread 
and fruits and it's so good and let me try mmm so soft it's so tasty it's absolutely delicious and I want to say thank you so much for watching me and I will see you next time on my cooking show bye and if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and give me a like bye bye